Aquarius. This is your reading for November 2019. And even though I'm reading for November, sometimes it could happen sooner, sometimes it can happen later or right on November. Everybody's on a different timetable. But this is your energy I'm asking for. For those watching my video that has been called to watch my video that felt led here, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the energy is coming in for Aquarius. November 2019, full Celtic cross, new energies, positive energies for Aquarius. See what the beginning energy is, and I'm going to do a three card, three card, three pile, read it, love reading at the end, you know, a mini read for everybody. So I thought maybe I'd just add that in there. It's getting real popular, and I thought I'd join the team in that. Ace of Swords, your type of energy and air energy coming in pretty quickly so you may have to speak your truth you may go out and decide to do something quickly you, you may um, pick up some energy with the ace of swords for some of you yeah you may be uh, have to put yourself out there you may even cut out people it doesn't have to be in reverse um, but you got the four of cups in reverse so you may actually tell someone your truth and tell them to go away with the four of cups in reverse because that's like in the upright it's being offered and they're like i don't know about this and reverse they're like i really don't know for sure if i want this what's crossing it is a ten of pentacles energy yeah, that's interesting ten of pentacles is about overall emotion um financial and um stability in life in general maybe you're going to turn <clears throat> someone down or something down that's going to offer you this it doesn't mean it's a legit offer it's just they're, they're going to say i'm going to you're going to if you take this offer it's it's going to bring you everything you want but i got to clarify you know once i start clarifying these cards it changes the story up what crowns you the two of wands making a decision it's like you want to go forward with something you really like or interested in, but you also are holding on to a safety net. So, you know, what's attached to this card that, you, you know, you need to make a decision, but it's like you're still thinking about which way you should go. The devil is the, the foundation. For some of you, you may feel chained to this decision, trying to figure out what you're doing. Maybe it's on your mind a little bit too much. Maybe it's all you can think about with the devil and the upright. In the past... You may be required to get on top of things, start doing something. It's about valor. Sometimes it's about defensiveness, but I don't see it that way unless it's in reverse. I see someone getting on top of things and uh, going for what they're wanting, you know. In the near future, you're still going to be thinking about something. I don't know what it is. I want to make sure I get these all in here because I need uh, room for the love reading too, though. The Seven of Pentacles, you're looking back at all this and saying, what should I do about this? Should I take it or shouldn't I take it? Should I start going with this um, Ten of Pentacles energy, even though I may not trust it or do not feel it's for me? Um, should I take the safety niche or should I go for the things I really want in life that I desire? So you're going to be thinking about this. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe, Three of Cups, you may be celebrating Aquarius, you may be celebrating something. What is coming towards you is something of a little chaotic with the Emperor in reverse. Someone may be trying to force an issue with you also. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries, but like I said, i got to clarify. Your hopes and fears, maybe you're trying to come out of stagnation with the Hangman in reverse. Maybe you don't want to be stuck anymore. Maybe um, you're afraid to make those decisions. It could be all kind of reasons. So, and I'll clarify, like I said, but you are moving forward with something with the chariot and the upright. And I'm going to clarify these. And like I said, um, it may change the story up. And also realize this may not resonate with all Aquarius individuals. People think it should, but I'm thinking it's for those who are led here, you know. But the Four of Cups. It is in reverse, and it has to do with the Ten of Pentacles. So you may turn down a lucrative offer or thinking about turning it down. It doesn't mean that you actually will, because these are feelings. Cups are feelings about some offer that you may get. So Four of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles crossing it. Why are you there? For Aquarius. Knight of Swords, you charging forward. Someone wants you to charge forward, and you may, because I did see that, you know, the Ace of Swords. So you may really look into this. You may uh, really consider it, but at the same time, you're afraid to accept it. 
And like I said, because of safety nets, because you're on shore. So the Four of Cups in Reverse, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, uh, clarifying it. It could be that someone's expecting an answer pretty quickly. They want an answer from you. Why are you there for Aquarius? Give me another card, please. Yeah, they're, they're giving you all these options and offer, but you're kind of confused by them with the Seven of Cups in the upright. You're not, you're still unsure, you know, as the subject at hand, you are unsure about an offer you are going to get um, in November. And for the majority, you will feel this in November. Some of you may already got these offers, you know. Um, what is crowning you is the Two of Wands, and I need two cards for that. I'm calling for two cards for Aquarius is what crowns them, the Two of Wands. A victory you're going for victories so you need to make a decision so you gain a victory over this ten of Pentacles energy because if you don't make a decision you may lose out on that ten of Pentacles that's what is crowning you that's your goal you're thinking about how can I gain a victory <clears throat> and it uh, is all about making a decision and and like I said I think it's, I'm thinking someone wants you to make a decision pretty quickly but you're still you know not sure you're chained to should I do this shouldn't I do this with the devil in the upright almost obsessive you know or really you maybe you will get obsessive over it or somebody around you may be expecting an answer maybe really getting on you about um getting this uh, answer from you. So the devil in the upright, why you there? For Aquarius is the foundation. I need two cards, please. Two cards. Yeah, you're afraid of manipulation. You're afraid it won't bring you wish fulfillment. You're afraid someone's manipulating a situation. You feel like they're lying to you. You feel like they're trying to trick you with the magician in reverse. And you're afraid with the nine of cups in reverse, you won't get wish fulfillment. And it's kind of got you thinking just a little too much on that. Maybe um, for some of you, a little paranoid about being messed over, but maybe you have a reason. You know, once you're, you know, once burned, twice shy type situation. So you're thinking about it. In the past, you're getting on top of things. Maybe you're trying to make that decision. Maybe someone is telling you to make a decision. So the Seven of Wands in the upright while you're there for Aquarius in the past. In the past position. Keep in like, the thought of um, Aries. A lot of you may be dealing with the Aries because it keeps on popping up in my head. Yeah, you you are you're you may you have to get on top of things because someone is wanting you really really to make that decision with the six of pentacles in reverse. They're saying you you know if you're gonna do this you're gonna lose out and I won't be able to help you later and 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 maybe it's something that um, you put to rest in the past with death in reverse and, and maybe it, the idea is resurrecting itself. We got the rec retrograde coming up with Mercury, so that may be an issue why past offers may come up again. And I'm not telling you to accept them right at that time. They may try to push you to take it, but it's always good to think about it. And it looks like that's what you're going to do in the very near future, at least in November. You're going to think about it. You're going to think, is this going to work for me or not work for me? With the Seven of Pentacles in the upright. So the Seven of Pentacles in the upright, in the very near future for Aquarius, why are you there? Yeah, because you're, you've you been messed over before, and you've been deceived before, and you're, like, not trusting it. you got the Ten of, of uh, Swords in reverse, so you, you've you been messed over before. This is a, uh, a past situation you're thinking about in the near future. Should I accept this offer? Because I was really messed over, and there were deceptions and lies done with the moon there. So you're not trusting an offer, like I said, coming in. Now, the possible future outcome and advice from the universe is a three of cards. It's a great card. I mean, three of cups, three of cards. Three of cups in the upright. Someone is going to celebrate. You're going to celebrate a situation with friends and family. You're going to enjoy yourself. And, and maybe the universe saying, <clears throat> as an advice, go ahead, enjoy yourself. You know, celebrate a situation. Maybe it is a good offer, but I need more cards to know, you know. You may be celebrating something else for all I know. So the three of cups in the upright. It's a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Why are you there for Aquarius? Yeah, don't worry so much. Don't work too hard on a situation. For whatever you're going to be celebrating on, you won't have to work hard for, and there will be no arguments. You won't have to argue so much. You can turn down arguments. You can. It, there won't be a lot of competition, you know. Um It'll be easy, whatever you're going to be celebrating with a work situation. I do not see it as being hard work, though. 
not in this. So it's like the universe saying, go out, enjoy yourself, because whatever's coming up, you're not going to have to battle or work for too hard for it. You know, I see it as the Eight of Pentacles is not working too hard or not having hard. Other people say it's working harder. I'm seeing the Three of Cups there. You're celebrating. I don't think you're working as hard, okay? Now, the Emperor in reverse, something a little out of control is the outside environment. This is not in your control. It's the outside situation coming in. And you will be looking at it. You yourself can control what you do and how it affects you. But the outside environment is still going to be a little out of control. And you're going to see this with the Emperor in reverse. I'm thinking someone may be even a little pushy. So the Emperor in reverse as the outside environment for Aquarius. Why are you there? Why are you there? Two cards, please. Hangman in reverse. The uh, King of Wands. I did feel like it was an Aries energy there, but it doesn't have to be. It could be just someone who's really fiery and wants an answer now, and they may feel like they may push it. It's not that the King of Wands is a terrible person or not. They just may be demanding that you make a decision and come out of, you know, indecisiveness. So they're going to be pushing you to make a decision, but you are still maybe not budge right away. I think you eventually will go forward with something, but, I, you know, i got to wait and see. Now, your hopes and fears to the hangman in reverse is to actually come out of this stagnant moon and taking this issue or taking this offer, maybe. But I need two more cards. So the hangman in reverse while you're there for Aquarius in the very near future. And the hopes and fears while you're there. Yeah, you may not want to think it. You're like, I'm kind of... I want a happy situation. I don't know if this will make me happy, whatever is being offered to me with the four of wands in the upright, because this is what you're wanting. This is your hopes. And so this is why you're not making a decision. This is why you're, you're afraid to consider it right now. But I do see you, like I said, with the chariot and upright moving forward pretty quickly. And I think even though it's moving forward pretty quickly, um, maybe driving somewhere for some of you, having to drive to where you need to go um, for this offer, it's also like a really fiery tape energy. It's quick. So I'm kind of leery about saying it's going to be in early November. Well, it could be early November because it's a fast energy. But because you're thinking about it, I'm thinking it's going to be the end of November or towards the middle at least where you move forward with something. That's the Knight of Cups, but i got to call the Chariot first. The Chariot in the upright. I need two cards for Aquarius for the very end. And then we'll do the love reading. We'll sum this up and then we'll do the love reading. So the chariot and the upright, why there? Two cards, please. Two cards for Aquarius in November. Why? Why are you there? These all want to come out. You're going to move forward with the Queen of Wands, even though I'm thinking it's something from the past, like I said. Someone wants to resurrect the situation. That's the world card in reverse. And you're going to move forward with this uh, Queen of Wands. Even though the King of Wands is coming towards you is in the upright. And I think they are in the upright. You may feel that they are not at the time. And it's a past issue. But you're going to start, you know, trusting it. Even though you think um, things may be hidden. You may go with your intuition. You may go, um, you may go forward within there. But um, with this situation, but cautious, I should say. Now, in the end, someone is disappointed in a situation. Maybe you will be disappointed. Maybe these are just fears, emotions. So you may feel like it's not 100% what you're wanting it to be with the Five of Cups. But with what's attached to the Five of Cups, okay? Even though someone's disappointed, they still got two full cups. Something's good coming in. But the, per the person that's there thinks it's all bad, but it's not. So you may at first be disappointed with it, and that's maybe why the Queen of Wands is in reverse and the World card, and you may be saying, uh, this hasn't changed. But it's saying, I think, to trust your gut instinct. Go for advice for people, too. I'm feeling that. Seek out the positives in it, because there is some kind of little gold that's going to pop up with this offer. But you may not think it's a good offer because you already got your mindset and think it's not going to work. So the, the key here is to realize the universe is saying, 
it is a good something good's coming in you're going to end up celebrating and yeah you know, i don't think you're gonna have to work too hard for it or maybe you will but i don't think so but someone's wanting that you to make a decision you are not trusting them you're like been there, done that, not doing it again, don't know if I want to do that again, because I want what I want in my life. And you're kind of at a, you know, crossroads of thinking, because you want the victory over your Ten of Pentacles energy. You're wanting your finances. You do not want to suffer again. You don't want a setback. So, like I said, someone's offering you these confusing offers or pushing for an answer, and you're still going to make them wait. I do see you moving forward at the end, not trusting it and thinking you're going to be disappointed, but there are two full cups that are there for the taking that'll prosper, and the universe says you're going to be celebrating something. So, just thought I'd put that out there. Now, I'm going to give that three cards because this is becoming very popular and people want love and sometimes the universe when it gives me these messages don't tell me a lot of love they tell me what is the main energy coming in for you so i'm going to ask for you these cards love romance you know sometimes it's just love you know no romance but i need three piles three cards three piles and you choose from them what is drawing you to it okay this is for aquarius in november I need three cards for the first pile for Aquarius. Like I said, if you feel drawn to it, and some people feel drawn to more than one, that's okay. And remember, I'm reading the cards truthfully. I'm not going to sit there and lie to you and just because I want subscribers or likes, okay? I got to an answer for this. So I always go for the truth. I always aim for that for Aquarius and all my signs. So I need another three card, three pile section for Aquarius. And these get red, red in the upright. And I don't fan shuffle them. For November 2019 Aquarius for love, the second pile please. Try not to turn them over. Last, last reading I had I turned them all over. Forgot not to do that. I need one more pile, three card reading for Aquarius for November for love. Three more cards. Three more cards. Oops. I know what that says, but I'm going to leave it because it popped out. Maybe you didn't see it. I need two more cards for Aquarius for the third pile. Two more cards. Okay, let's do uh, pile one, number one. And remember, this is the universe picking them and you picking them. Do not judge me. Do not get angry with me. I'm going to tell you what the cards say, period. Okay? First pile. If you chose these, it says express your love to somebody. Maybe somebody likes you. Maybe you like them. Go ahead. You know, you know make a romantic gesture, you know. Um, flirt with them. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And yes, Aquarius can be lighthearted. They can be a lot of fun. But it says go ahead, uh, express your love, flirt, because it can lead to a marriage, whoever you're interested in. It could lead to a commitment. Because they say marriage in here, I say commitment. Okay? So that's the first pile. And you saw me shuffle them. Second pile, for those that chose this, or maybe you chose but, uh, Get to know a person before you let them into your life. Okay, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost uh, selves and each other, your bond deepens. So get to know someone because there may be a mask on them. There may be a, a mask or deception on somebody. They may not be showing their true selves for some reason. Maybe they're, you know, insecure. Can you see this? Getting to know each other. Deceptions. Can you see it? Something's trying to come in on my screen and let your friends help you go to your friends if you know, don't know if you trust somebody because remember i said that that you may you may have to um talk to, to people around you pretty sure i said that and ask for and accept support from others so if you're unsure about something because i see you indecisive in the main reading um you should you know ask your friends so maybe you know get some advice to know which way to turn in the end you know even in situations you don't trust now here it says playfulness. Go out there and play. Have some fun. Three of Cups energy. Have some fun. Um, be to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit to of uh, fun to shine. In other words, you know, may, go out and enjoy yourself. Have some fun. You may be running into your soulmate if you do, because you deserve this person. So yes, this is your soulmate. If you're if you're thinking about having fun with this person and wanting to hang out with them, and you really enjoy this person, usually. 
Um, maybe you haven't met them yet. Maybe you will. But whoever this is that's coming up, you deserve them. And they deserve you. You deserve love. You are lovable. The Aquarius I'm reading to, I don't care what anybody says, are lovable. You know, most of the time. Um, so, yes, you got offers coming up. You're not sure of them. You don't trust them. Ask your friends. Don't get in too much in your head about it. Go out and have some fun, all of you. Okay? And celebrate. Don't worry about work and situations that cause strife in your life and the outside environment was confusing because later you will make the decision you're wanting and even though you may not be 100 percent happy or trusting at first realize that the two full cups are coming in and that you are getting positive things in the love life situation at least the ones that are watching my channel can you see all this because i got to be able to leave all these in here so you can see the love reading so I'm going to upload this as soon as I can. Got a lot of stuff going on in my life also. And um, so it's, things are a little scattered right now. But I'm uploading this next, and hopefully it'll be soon. YouTube doesn't make me wait too long. Okay? Bye.